my name is Ryan Irwin from Blackboard Mobile. What we're featuring here today is Blackboard Mobile Learn, one of our uh, latest mobile applications in the uh, educational technology sphere. This interacts with Blackboard Learn, which is the predominant e-learning platform. It allows uh, schools and course instructors to upload course content to uh, make it available to their students. In this case, we're featuring it on Samsung's Android devices here today. Uh, right now, we're on the home screen. You see the, the Learn icon here, which will launch the application. But you also see above that a Android-specific widget. that lets you see sort of the latest and greatest from your teachers, new assignments or uh, new announcements from your classes. If you launch the application, you get in here, and you see which, which courses you're enrolled in, or if you're a teacher, which courses you're teaching. As well, you can access uh, any of the organizations that you might be a part of, whether it's an athletic organization, a government organization, or anything that you as a personal user might be a part of. Um, before I hop into a course, you can get here to the dashboard, which basically says, what are the new things that are going on for my classroom? Um, the Wi-Fi connectivity is a little poor in this conference room, but um, basically what it'll show you is all of the announcements or new tasks for any of the courses that you're involved in. I just hopped into the uh, Fundamentals of Biology course map here. In addition to being able to say general course info and the people that are involved in that course, I can actually get into the content as well. That might be announcements that are uh, the latest uh, announcements posted by my teacher or TAs about new grades that are posted or tests that I just took. Um, and I can actually see what are the grades that I got for this class. I tend to be doing pretty well on this one, you can see. Um, but it sees, you know, what, what are the latest grades posted, what are the assignments that I haven't gotten grades back for. And then you can actually interact with some of the content on a deeper level, too. Um, a teacher might post uh, an assignment with a description, but also a PDF that gives you details there. If I open it, I can actually say, okay, well, what is that assignment? What do I have to learn for class tomorrow? Um, in this case, I'm actually looking at the, the homework assignment that's due for class tomorrow, and it, it's biology. These are the terms that I need to learn for uh, my test on, on uh, you know, the next week. Um, similarly, if you might have a PowerPoint presentation that you, need, that you want to look at for your final project or for a lecture that you missed, you can actually see it here on your device. You can interact with it um, as, a, as a PDF, uh, as a PowerPoint, documents, um, and really get to it from your mobile device in a way that's as intuitive as possible for the device that you're working on. So um, this actually does support video, but we're not going to test it on the crappy Wi-Fi here at the conference. Is there any other kinds of file formats that can be integrated with this? Um, it's really anything that uh, your device and platform can handle. So if your device and platform can handle uh, Word document, PowerPoint, spreadsheets, video, all of that, it can be done through uh, this application. It's giving you access to all of that information. Perfect. Thank you. And currently, where is it available? It's available online for free for any students. Um, if your school turns it on, you can use it for free. It's on the Android marketplace, the iPhone app store for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, as well as the Blackboard app. And are you currently rolled out in, in any schools right now? Uh, we're actually rolled out in a lot of schools. You can check online, blackboard.com slash mobile, to see if your school has turned it on. Um, and uh, hopefully they will soon. Perfect. Thank you. Sure. No problem.